Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video, it is time for another PSA video that I uh, tried to make uh, when I came across something that I uh, I'm really intrigued about. And this PSA video will be about the new uh, Demco AD20.5 uh, clone. So um, basically, uh, these knives launched a couple of months ago uh, the hype was really really uh, high and everybody wanted to get them uh, the grivery versions uh, were sold out almost uh, everywhere when i when i looked uh, since then uh, they are coming back in stock but uh, some dealers got also some uh, titanium versions uh, most of them were dealer exclusive by now uh, they should be available on uh, different sites like uh, Knife Center, DLT Trading and Blade HQ and when a couple of uh, weeks, because uh, this is obviously from China a couple of weeks ago when uh, I found uh, this on AliExpress uh, I was really intrigued about it and I, I bought it so uh, firstly, uh, let me tell you, I was really uh, surprised with the, with the packaging uh, I have not owned a uh, real Demco AD20, but uh, this looks uh, really, really professional. So this is a hard box with all the necessities. You can see there it comes even in a beautiful pouch with the Velcro patch and. Inside we have, oh, this is a, this is a high quality pouch like uh, Berker uh, is uh, uh, using for their knives. You can put two knives in there, maybe some tools or maybe even three knives. Uh, there's also a nice microfiber cloth with uh, Demco knives. Just a small one. So, so this is, uh, this is really mind boggling. And this is also why doing this uh, PSA is because uh, it's, it is getting uh, really, really easy now that uh, somebody could post these on knife forums or uh, eBay and uh, somebody will get burned really, really badly. So here is the knife itself. Uh, I will be not talk about the measurements. I did uh, check it really briefly, and it looks like the measurements are the the same as the the real one. But uh, if you see the pictures, you will definitely not know about the measurements. So, as far as uh, the the markings on the pivot and on the blade itself, this is uh, really nicely made. It has a really nice texturing, so it will be uh, st sticking it into your hand really nicely. So one thing that uh, is probably, I'd say, a, a nice giveaway that this is a clone is that, as far as I know, all the all the dealer exclusives with the, the even the smooth or the textured uh, titanium were uh, supplied with a 3V uh, blade. So there is also the the cheaper version with the gravery or or plastic uh, handle scales uh, that was made with uh, Austin A. So the original uh, OEM manufacturer is uh, a company from Taiwan, of course. Probably uh, one of those companies who is also making for Spider Co. Their knives uh, they are high quality. So uh, yeah, but. When I firstly grabbed the knife, it was uh, it was really nice. So the the chamfering around the titanium is really nice. Let me check the magnet. So yeah, the screws and pins are steel, steel of course, and also the pocket clip. But the Look like it is it is titanium or something like a titanium. Like uh, Chinese are usually using some kind of uh, titanium alloy. And uh, when I when I did play a little bit around with the shark's log, I don't know a shark's log function. There is a spring inside, and you actuate this 
button here or a lever and then you can open the blade it also features the trial uh triad pivot uh, system lock blade stop uh, which is also known um uh, Demco is known by this uh, design and uh, lots of uh, cold steel knives are using this uh, method in which the the force is translated to the pin and not to the to the uh, locking mechanism it's, itself but where the problem started after after a few uh, let's say uh, playthroughs I I did notice that there was a little bit of a play if you can see now we can even hear it. So I don't know what's going on. It definitely does not fail, but if you open the knife, everything is okay. But then you can push a little bit on the blade and it pops a little bit. So first thing that I that I did, of course, uh, this knife literally uh, arrived today, so I had uh, a little bit of time to uh, play with it. I contacted the, uh, the, the reseller on AliExpress and he was not um, surprised. Uh, he told me that um, they are using titanium, which is softer than, of course, than, than the, probably the USA made uh, 6 ALV st stuff. And that um, there are two ways how to remedy this uh, problem. So uh, he sent me a, a little bit of a manual, manual, just a few steps what to do. First, he told me to, to polish up uh, this portion here and that they should uh, uh, fix the problem. If it does not work, then he told me that he can send me a uh, steel, basically this part made out of steel. So I don't know what's going on. I, I do not own the, the real deal, of course. So I don't know if the if the Taiwanese made uh, with the gravity scales or even the titanium ones have the same issue. And they also have some kind of softer titanium uh, used uh, with machine this part. And uh, maybe if you have a, if you see this video, if you have a, a real 8020, then um, please chime in and let me know if you have this problem that you can uh, dislocate a little bit uh, the blade. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, I was I was uh, really disappointed because uh, this should not happen. There should be a way, a way more robust locking system and everything for the one, but, but uh, yes, uh, when you are making knives, uh, when you are copying knives, or when you're making knives uh, as a copy and a fake in China, then you will obviously cut in corners and this is probably one of the the best <laughs> examples of that so that when they are using uh, softer uh, material then these uh, problems uh, did, uh, did happen or then manifested so so yeah so be very careful when you are uh, when you are getting uh, hyped on excited to get at your uh, full titanium demco AD uh, 20.5 uh, do not uh, do not um, buy them probably from uh, eBay or so go to the go to the uh, authorized uh, dealer and buy them there because yes uh, you will have maybe some problems if you buy it from uh, from AliExpress okay so now let's talk also about the the pricing I usually do not uh, like to talk about this stuff because it is a little bit uh, controversial but uh, we have to address this obviously if you are looking at this video you are considering the buying this one so uh i have two uh prices for you or should i say two uh for two regions so if you are from us you can go on aliexpress you will find a lot of uh dealers uh they are selling these uh there are two options or at the start uh when they are starting the producing them there was this um, gray titanium one and a uh, light blue anal, so anodized one. And the price was uh, $49.99, that is uh, US dollars. If you are from Europe, you will uh, pay a little bit more. Uh, the price is 64 euros. And that has uh, to do with the taxes. AliExpress is charging 20% tax on the products so that uh, the products are not held uh, by the customs. So. 
this is how it is. So these are two informations. If you want to buy this, uh, uh, should I say, the real deal, then of course um, you should uh, you should check the Knife Center DLT trading or Blade HQ. The full titanium one will be around, this version will be 375 with the 3V blade. The smooth one uh, will be around uh, 315 or so because it takes lots and lots of time to machine these parts. So you will definitely pay a little bit more for the uh, textured uh, version. If you uh, want to save money and do, don't need the, the titanium, then you can go with the gravery ones. Uh, they have different colors like black, green, gray, orange, yellow and so on. And they cost uh, $159.99 US dollars. If you want to, to get this in the European Union, you will probably have a little bit of problems because like I told you, uh, the dealers I checked uh, were all sold out and the prices were uh, somewhere near the 200 euros for these. But yeah, that can maybe change. But probably as the situation in the world, how it is, uh, this will probably, as the inflation goes up, they will cost uh, more. But if you would like to experience the, uh, the lock and uh, the size, of course, you can also choose uh, the clone version with the gravery or the plastic scales. Uh, they are much cheaper, so you are uh, you should be able to get them for around twenty-seven, maybe under thirty dollars uh, US. So yeah. Let, let me check the centering. So for size comparisons, oh, let's do. Few Chinese ones, so here is the bug out, and here is my paramilitary uh, three, my carta version from also China, and I have also my Strider SNG and paramilitary two in my carta. Yeah, so probably what I will end up, I will maybe try to tinker with this, but uh, yeah, I don't know uh, what is going on. This is definitely discouraging because as you can see there, the, the lock is definitely not engaging, but uh, this could probably fail at some critical moment. So be very careful with these um, Chinese knives. Obviously, I make this video so that I share my experiences and that uh, I save you some time and money and, and grief and maybe also disappointment and uh, yeah injuries because uh, let's face it uh, these uh, Chinese fake and knockoffs are cheaper for a reason of course if everything would be uh, shiny and dandy then uh, everything will be uh, would be uh, cheap and uh, inexpensive but uh, let's face it quality costs uh, money. Also, uh, making cheap parts and do not test it, uh, we'll end up with a faulty product. So I will see what I can do. Uh, I will try to open it, up, of course, because I have some uh, some time to do that. But uh, I would be really disappointed if I would buy this, let's say, on eBay <laughs> for the full price and then would uh, uh, receive this. So okay. So that being said, it was a just a quick um, PSA today or uh, in this video. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm happy to reply as soon as I can, of course. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And if you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly nothing and guaranteed. But sometimes there's other stuff regarding my other hobbies. With that being said, wish you wonderfully. Talk to you soon.